As you've already read a pretty self-explanatory title, let's get into the video directly. This is the first outfit, but before I start, can we please take a moment to appreciate the hand-drawn plans because the frame was too empty. <laughs> okay, so for this look, I paired a crop spaghetti top with my sweat shorts and this super crop polo tee that I DIY'd with these lovely beads that is barely visible to the naked eye. And to add the sporty summery look, I paired ankle socks with my Nike whites. For outfit two, I channeled a more feminine look for the sweatshirts, switching up the polo tee look with this crop top and added a string for the very sexy midriff flossing trend this summer. Added my handmade floral beaded necklace and rings. To contrast the femininity, I also added a clear crossbody bag to make the look more streetwear. Although it's only to add an element and not that I'd be needing the bag anytime soon. I love the flow of pink and lavender in this outfit. I layered the same spaghetti crop top over an oversized men's shirt. And to match the pink stripe color of the shirt, I paired a very hot pink biker shorts for my bottoms. This look slightly reminds me of the Gigi Hadid pre-pandemic look going to watch the US Open. I don't know if you remember. Here's another version with the sweatshorts. I really wish I had more colors in this, but for this, I paired a bodysuit so that the fit shows more of my waistline from the bulk of the shorts. I also layered it with this knit crop top and the color of the motif in the crop top matches perfectly with the bodysuit, so it, it goes really nicely. This is my version of the scarf top, but with sweatshorts. I paired this beautiful olive gold black scarf with the black shorts, with patterned ankle socks and olive dad shoes. I love, love, love how the delicateness and the flowiness of the scarf juxtapose the heavy ass duty shoes. My sixth outfit is the version of the previous third look. For this, I kept things simple with just a tank top, biker shorts and pink striped over shirt. Trust me when I say it is as comfy as it looks and the best part is that the knit tank top gives such support to you that you don't need to wear a bra, not that one should or would wear at home, but just, you know, stating the technicalities. For my seventh look, I channeled my younger tomboyish self, but in a 29-year-old's body. Yeah. I paired a yellow-colored tank top and this long-line half-sleeve striped shirt. Gave myself a bun with gold ear hoops and slippers. Also added a baguette bag to make the look more womanly. This one is another really simple and easy look to pair and wear. It's a printed resort slash pajama shirt, which I tied up into a knot in the front. I also added my very classic gold ear hoops and my dear beaded floral necklace. The second last look that I have is an outfit option for with longer pants. These pants are knitted as well, so they are so comfortable throughout the day. I call it my version for when I don't want to shave my legs or haven't in months actually. <laughs> the last one is my favorite because the top that I had thrifted last month. It's from thriftmom underscore and 
its look and charm is so vintage and so pretty i cannot state it enough i tied my hair up into a half bun with a pearl clip uh, especially to look more presentable in these virtual meetings and also i added my dainty jewelry to complete the outfit <laughs>